Good morning, everyone. Today is another pre-maintenance checklist video. Now I know I'm two days earlier than usual. And the reason for this is because there's a substantial amount of content that will be going away after the coming maintenance. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. All right, so the very first thing I need you guys to do is to make sure that you actually have three characters on the same ship. If you are a free to play player, you can create three characters on the entire account so they can all be on the same ship like how I've done it on my ship four account or you can do it like what I've done on my ship two account where I have one character in ship one one character ship two and one character on ship three so you have your three character slots spread out but for 99% of the player base I do recommend you guys to make all of your alternate characters on the same ship because remember with the coming maintenance we will be getting those skill reset passes which will allow you to reset your skill tree and each character will get one so if you have three characters on the same ship they'll be able to consolidate their reset passes so you'll get a total of three so whenever you do mess up any of your skill trees you can always pop one of those now while we're on the topic of the three character slots i've noticed some people have been telling me carol i only have two characters here but suddenly i can't make the third character what on earth is going on and i found the problem so what i did on this account before was i didn't have this character called fried chicken before I actually had fried chicken on ship three. So what I did was I deleted the ship three character by simply clicking on here, going to settings over here and delete character. And then over here, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you need to hold down the control key if you have a keyboard. I don't know what it is on console, but you have to push down the key and click yes. And once that is done, there will be a little countdown over here, time until deletion, and it'll tell you when the character will be deleted. It's 24 hours by default, but once the character is deleted, you need to log onto that ship. The game will register all that character has been deleted. Then switch back to your main ship and then you'll be able to create your character. Now, in my case over here, I don't actually want to delete fried chicken. So you can click on it. And again, I can hold down control and I click yes. And boom, I'm no longer deleting fried chicken. Now, something to keep in mind is that 10 million EXP quests will also be going away with the coming maintenance. So you want to take advantage of that. You can see that fried chicken has played a total of 2 minutes and 38 seconds and is already level 39 versus Sil, who's placed 45 hours and is still only level 37. The reason for this is simply because when I created fried chicken, you get the option to skip all the way to Kavaris if you've unlocked Kavaris already. So I took that option and immediately you spawn in Central City. You go to Central Tower, you talk to a bunch of NPCs, and then you can talk to Gaiden right after you leave the building and you get a whopping 10 million EXP for completing his quest, which will boost you all the way to level 39 instantaneously. So I highly recommend if you are making alt characters to make a class that you normally don't play. So in my case, a fighter, I utilize this in order to boost my character level 39. So that way, when I need to level this up in order to get those extra add-on skills, it's going to be much, much easier. So I want to stress again to make sure that you create all three characters on the same ship so you can get three copies of your end reset all skills this is what the ticket looks like and don't forget you only need one ticket to reset all of your classes as it says here resets all skills and skill trees and restores all spent skill points so this will reset the skill trees for every single class simply by consuming one of these tickets so let's say that you mess up your force as well as your braver don't worry you only need to use one end reset all skills and it'll reset all of your classes all nine classes so you only need to use one at a time you're not going to need to use multiple of these tickets if you mess up multiple classes okay all right next up i want to talk about the kaiser weapons if you are working towards your kaiser weapon a lot of people have been asking me caro there's a new a star rarity weapon coming out the rugged weapons are going to be dropping a little bit more easily since they drop in just regular combat zones from any mob is it worth making my kaiser weapon my rule of thumb is if you've already farmed all the materials make it make your kaiser weapon you're still going to get a ton of mileage with this weapon. So your Kaiser weapon is still going to be extremely useful all the way until the volcano region or Stia. So that means you have at least two months of good mileage where you can use this weapon and just farm away. So if you haven't created your Kaiser weapon already, but you've already invested a little bit of time, you've farmed ice cubes, you farmed blizzardium, you farmed all these little pieces, then I would recommend to take advantage of this week to try to complete your Kaiser weapon. The reason is because remember our codec weapon? Remember this little ability over here, which gives you 15% potency, extra critical hit, and damage resistance? This will be absolutely useless next week, as there will no longer be seasonal enemies, as all of the enemies are just going to be reverted back to their regular form, because the seasonal event will have ended. 
Next up is of course Cannonball Strike. Don't forget to do Cannonball Strike in a party at least once. So I have a lot of people confirming that you just need to participate in order to get bronze. So it doesn't even matter about the score. Just go in with random people. You can go into Cannonball Strike in a party of two, three or four people. It doesn't matter. And you can just participate in it. All right. That way you get your arch record badges 20. And uh, it doesn't really matter about silver. Like if you really try hard and you do want to go for silver, then I will recommend going in as a full party as it will make your life a lot easier to get those higher scores. And just to reiterate yesterday's video, your personal solo score does not count. It has to be done in a party. Next up is of course your randomite. Please make sure to pick them up on PSO two days. So that's literally in two days, okay? I will leave a link in the description below, which will auto convert when PSO two days starts in your time zone. So if you're unsure on when PSO two days starts, simply click on that link. It'll tell you in your local time zone and you'll know when to collect all of your randomite. Next up is of course the Stella Grace Recovery Operation. Don't forget to take advantage of this because you get a total of 450 star gems if you do all three days. And on top of that, you also get the seasonal points acquired plus 20%. Rare drop rate plus 20%, as well as a personal boost of rare drop rate plus 10% if you collect all of those Stella Graces. Now, while we're talking about Stella Graces, the next collection period is going to be starting from five hours as of this video going live. Again, I'll leave another link in the description below, which converts it into your local time zone. So you'll know when to collect all of their Stella Graces or when the collection period actually starts because you only have 24 hours to collect all 30 Stella Graces. So the window to collect all of your Stella Graces is rather limiting. Next up, I want to talk about all the limited time tasks which are going away after the maintenance. And the first one is, of course, the veteran farming one. As you can see, you can earn quite a significant amount of really useful goodies, such as arms refiners. We are going to need a lot of arms refiners, especially with the new armors coming out. If you are planning to upgrade to those new armors, we're going to need to limit break every single one of them. So uh, yeah, you do need quite a significant amount of arms refiners. So definitely pick up these goodies. You can also get a bunch of special scratch tickets. Remember, these special scratch tickets are basically free star gems because after you scratch 40 times, you get a select ticket, which you can use to pick up an SG-100 ticket. So make sure not to sleep on these special scratch tickets because you can earn quite a bit of them. On top of that, of course, you just get raw star gems as well as NEX cubes. There's also 30 icicle orbs as well as five icicle cubes. There's a bunch of really nice goodies over here. We got Blizzardium, more star gems. You got common purple triggers. Common purple triggers are going to spike up in price. I promise you that right after the maintenance hits, simply because a lot of people are going to be farming the new purple triggers where all the gigantics are going to be level 69, simply because that's going to be the best place to farm for the new armors, especially if the gigantics do drop their own special armor. Usually it's like the Gion armors and stuff like that. There might be a new variation of that armor. So people are going to be farming a crap ton of these purple triggers, especially the tryhards. So you might want to complete all these limited time missions because you can always make a quick buck with all of these resources. And of course, there's even more star gems. Next up is the enemy suppression for every single class. It simply kill 500 enemies on every single class and you can earn up to 450,000 Meseta simply by doing this. Remember, there is no no enemy level requirement so you can literally just go to Mount Magnus rank one with all of your classes and just bully the crap out of the enemies kill 500 on each class and boom that's easy 50,000 per class which will net you 450,000 Meseta as well as a bunch of extra goodies over here and last but not least for the limited time quests is of course all of your seasonal quests over here I personally have not done any of them I I've been really slacking but uh, this is a great way to earn a bunch of seasonal points if you still need a bunch of them in order to buy out the shop. While we're on the topic of seasonal points, don't forget to buy out all the items that you actually want from the seasonal shop. Because remember, the seasonal shop will be going away. There's actually a bunch of minerals over here, a bunch of very useful things that you probably would want to pick up. So regarding seasonal point farming, I actually do not recommend going to Retem Al Noth. The reason for this is to prevent burnout. Because once we get the new patch next week, everyone is going to be farming in Retem Al Noth. So if you farm really hard this week in Retem Al Noth, and then next week you have the same scenery, the same desert, all sand and blah, 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 you're going to burn yourself out very, very easily. And you're going to get sick of Retem Al Noth extremely, extremely quickly. So as a alternative, I would recommend people to farm in Belugana Runes or in Lost Central, probably Belugana Runes for most people, simply because you can get a bunch of your icicle orbs over here because of those golden boxes, as well as those different trials. So if you are in need of those icicle orbs, 
because you haven't made your Kaiser weapon. You can kill two birds with one stone. You get seasonal points, you get ice cold orbs. Boom, win-win situation. And it's a change of scenery. So you're gonna farm here this entire week. You're gonna get extremely sick of this icy environment. And then next week when rank four Ritem Al Noth is released, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, thank goodness, a change in scenery. It's desert and hot here instead of cold and icy from Belugana Runes. So that is what I'm personally doing. You know, I'm not farming anywhere in Ritem right now because I know starting from next week, I'm just going to be living in Ritem. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to avoid everything in the desert right now. And last but not least, don't forget to finish your weeklies as well as your dailies because that'll help you progress through your mission pass. If you've been diligent and you've been doing your dailies every day as well as your weeklies every week, you should be done with the mission pass. However, if you're not done with it, don't worry. You still have two weeks. It doesn't end until October. 12 but at the very least i do recommend you to finish all of your weeklies and you should be at around tier 24 25 somewhere around here okay so in conclusion step one make sure that you've created three characters on the same ship so that you can consolidate all of your end reset all skill passes and uh, use it whenever you want Step two, if you are making a Kaiser weapon, make sure that you complete your Kaiser weapon before the end of the week because your codec weapons are going to be absolutely useless after all the enemies revert back to normal enemies because they're no longer seasonal enemies. Point three, wait until PSO2 day in order to collect all of your randomite because you're going to get a lot of boosts. Point four, make sure to do the Stella Grace recovery operation every time it is up. Point five, make sure to do Cannonball Strike at least once with a party. Remember, score doesn't really matter if you're just going for bronze. Just go in with a random group and just make sure that you do it at least once so that you qualify for the bronze reward. Point six, make sure to do all the limited time tasks or as many as you can because there's quite a lot of useful items over there which you can earn. Point seven, make sure to buy everything you want from this seasonal shop before the coming maintenance because again, the seasonal event is ending so the seasonal shop will be gone after the maintenance. And point eight, make sure to progress through your mission pass because uh, the mission pass will be ending in two weeks and I don't want you guys to miss out on all the freebies there. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heels, the boosts, the so